Hello everyone, it's Sarah from Miss Donnelly Reads. I'm coming at you with a middle grade book review. Recommendation, five stars. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, my first year of teaching, I had to read Walk Two Moons by Sharon Creech. I had never read it before. I didn't have time to actually read the book because there's so much going on your first year of teaching. And so I listened to it on my way back and forth, back and forth. And this book moved my soul. I, oh my gosh, even to this day, this is one of the books that I will always recommend to anybody. Whenever we start the school year, we talk about books that we love, why we love them. This book is always on my list. And I rave about this book and there will be at least four or five kids who will read the book. Some give it back because it's not their speed, but most finish it. And we all have the same reaction. And that is, oh my God, I never saw the ending coming. I love, I love, love books that do that because they take me by surprise, you know? And then you go back and you think, you're like, did I, how did I miss all of what was coming? Walk Two Moons. It's about Salamanca, Salamanca Tree Hiddle. Salamanca Sugar Tree Hiddle would have been too much, but Salamanca Tree Hiddle is her name. And the book starts almost three quarters of the way through. Sal's mom left the family a year before, and Sal and her father were left reeling from, you know, the vacancy that was in their house, the, the vacuum, you know, that mom left when she needed to just get away to sort of find herself again. And so when they learn that mom isn't, mom won't be returning home, um, dad picks up Sal and moves to Euclid, Ohio from Bybanks, Kentucky. And Sal is a country girl. She's got a swimming hole. She's got cows and chickens and all this stuff, you know, and, um, she's devastated and now she's got to move. And now her father is seeing this woman, Margaret Cadaver. <sighs> And, you know, Sal's not having any of that. So in her, in her preoccupation with how to dismantle this relationship that's being built between her dad and Margaret, she meets a new friend, Phoebe Winterbottom. And Phoebe, like Sal, had her mom disappear on her. And uh, so what happens is where we started the novel is her grandparents have decided to take Sal to see her mom. Uh, her mom ended uh, ended her trip in Lewiston, Idaho. And Sal is convinced that if she can get to her mother by her mother's birthday, that she can convince her mother to come home with her. And everyone's kind of like, Sal, I think you just have to, you know, we got to deal with what we're dealing with. And she's just not having it. So on this car ride, to Lewiston, she does not want to talk about her mom. She doesn't want to think about her. She doesn't want to bring up any sort of memories. So she starts telling the story of Phoebe Winterbottom. And Phoebe comes from a very weird and strict and super vanilla family. Um, and then she meets this boy, Ben, which is one of my favorite names. And Ben sort of has the same weirdness about him that Sal does. And so they connect on, you know, this totally different level. And um, you see the blossomings of first love and it's really, oh God, it's so wonderful. And the grandparents are hilarious. A bunch of wang doodles they are. Um, but I'm gonna tell you something. You, ma, this, this right here is an absolute must read. Some of it is tough. You know, it's sad and it's Sal grieving and, you know, not understanding why her mom won't come home, why her mom had to leave in the first place. The guilt that she felt, um, like maybe it was her and her fault that all this happened and oh, Lord, even thinking about it. So I give this five solid gold stars. There is no room for any sort of Four and a half, four, no, stop that crazy talk right now. Five stars. Get to reading it. It's amazing. Sharon Creech did a great job with this one. Ah, I love it. 
Walk to Moons, Sharon Creech. Five stars from Miss Donnelly Reads. Have a great day. Bye.